Zambia is a place of extraordinary natural beauty and great natural resources. But underlying all of that is the problems of human suffering, the problems of poverty and disadvantage. And that's the reason why we decided to set up this, this project to address the problems that we see here, to address the problems of human suffering and human disadvantage and poverty. There are plenty of vehicles here, of course, um, with cars on the road, trucks, agricultural machinery. Uh, but the standards of training are very low and the quality of the mechanic as a consequence is very low, generally speaking, throughout this part of the world. The whole program is a two-year course and uh, that is of course both theory and practical work. We spend about half the time on each with the students. The curriculum is of course set by City and Guilds of London, the international arm of City and Guilds. So we're a recognised, a registered centre with City and Guilds and they of course set the curriculum, they set the exams, that we sit the exams here in our hall and then of course they are sent back to UK for marking. Most of my time here uh, is spent as uh, the administrator uh, although there are many hats that I wear here, um, I, I do the salaries for the staff, which is really important that we are able to pay every month. Um, we have amazing, fantastic and faithful staff, so we need to be committed to that. I also um, do some teaching as the life skills. I do the hygiene and uh, health part of it. Um, there's many other hats that I wear here, such as um, being the doctor or the social worker, the funeral director. Um, they often call me as like I'm the mother here. Yeah, life, uh, life skills is uh, an extra curriculum which uh, this college is offering to the students who are studying mechanics. Uh, in the most colleges, they just offer the mechanics skill and it ends there. But this college has gone a mile ahead in the, uh, giving an extra curriculum which includes their life skills in agriculture, health and hygiene, and in computing and spiritual guidance. We believe in uh, quality and that is one of the backbone of our college because through the establishing of this college, the principles that were founded in this college was on a biblical principles. So therefore, as a college, we would want to continue the standard, even we pass on through the students, so that as they go in the community or wherever they will be working, we want our students to emulate what they have learned and to put them into practice. I have been involved in the training of uh, all the students that have passed through Mechanics for Africa, and I've really enjoyed it. Mechanics for Africa is a Zambian standard, it's a grade one, which is equivalent to highest institution of learning. That's because of our standards. And all our students who have passed through here, they are happy. And uh, whoever picks them on, none has ever regretted. Of course, a workshop is very important in terms of uh, showing students uh, practical work, get them involved, and uh, it's part of the course. The other good reason for having a workshop is that it is uh, very good for generating income. We service and maintain customers' vehicles, we charge them uh, a commercial rate for that work, and it's one of the great benefits of bringing in income to the college, and is one of the ways in which we're working towards becoming self-sufficient as a college. It was worthwhile to be here because I've ended up, you know, getting a skill I wanted to get from such a good environment. It really shaped my life 
and uh, it really prepared me to go and work as a faithful mechanic. It's easy for you to market yourself and like in even the motto of this college, life, uh, skills for life, it, uh, give, it imparts you a skill which will never leave you. Mr. Watt, I would describe him personally as a person who is so inspiring. I always remember the words that are stuck in my heart that he always used from the point that I entered this college to the point of graduation. He always talked about being honesty and in, uh, integrity which are the words that have been planted in our hearts and I feel like uh, they always grow in my heart every day because I always reflect back to what the college has imparted in me and I don't want to let them down. My, my, I have one child that has gone through this college and he, he was one of the best students. I'm so grateful that this, man, this young man now is doing very, very well. In fact, he's helping the whole of the family, the Musa family, the entire clan of the Musas. Uh, looking after them and is employed is in a very good job. He actually got a very good results out of this college. In terms of his behavior, it, 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 they made him actually change and behaved. He's now a man of God. At the same time, wherever he's working with the mines, he has actually been identified as one of the hard-working guys who is now actually benefiting even there. They are taking him from time to time to colleges and he's earning good money. It's a big privilege, it's a huge privilege to be involved in a project like this. It's also challenging, frequently, and uh, we often wonder if we're doing it right, doing the right thing. But it really is a great privilege to see the impact, the difference in people's lives, to see the success. And I think the success of a project like this is probably not measured or only partly measured in terms of exams and exams passed and qualifications gained. The real measure of success is the number of students who've actually got jobs and are earning money and our record of success in, in all of these areas is very high. The difficulties of having a little bit shorter funds is that for example we have been a bit slow finishing the guest house. That has taken a couple of years to get to where it is and it's going to be a fantastic benefit to the college and we have received some very generous gifts and donations towards that but we still haven't got enough to finish it and unfortunately when the current amount of money that I've got set aside for that is finished we'll have to stop until we get some more in. Our family life is really very wonderful because um, both Sharon and I work from home and we're here we are able to spend time with our boys which is great they've got a good school to go to Zambia is a lovely place to grow up it really is the weather is fantastic and the boys uh, really enjoy this place